if you have cameras in, in the public area, then you can get trespassed. Is that what you're saying? So what happened? The cops coming? Uh, they're, yeah, they're probably yeah. Okay. They're they're on the way. Man, they got bad response time. You totally need to get an education, uh, Officer Nelson. Okay. That's completely sure. incorrect. You know, qualified immunity doesn't exist in Colorado anymore. So, I'm aware. huh? I'm aware. We got, look, we got good cop, bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story was submitted by Denver Metro Audits, who was joined by Donut Hole Audits at the Denver Reception and Diagnostic Center. The center is part of the Department of Corrections and is where all inmates in the area begin their experience. Denver Metro and Donut Hole's experience began in the visitor's parking area, which is clearly marked for the public to access the facility. Shortly after their arrival, they are approached by Officer Augustine. How's it going, man? Hey, good. How you doing? All right. What can I do for you guys? Oh, uh, we're good. You good? Yeah. All right. Can I get your name? My name? Yeah. It's Officer Augustine, sir. Hey, is this um, is this that where people come to visit their loved ones? People that are incarcerated in here, right here. Yeah. It's a public lobby. It's not a public lobby, it's a state of Colorado lobby. But it's open to the public? Yes. Okay. It's a public lobby. <laughs> yeah. Huh? All right. Well, hey, thanks for your help, man. So far, so good. And as they continue to explore the exterior, they are met by another officer. We could just stay just off the perimeter road here. Off the perimeter road? Yeah. Off the perimeter. This, is, this is restricted? Yeah. Okay. Do you got any business here? Someone can talk to you. Yeah, we got business. Huh? We have business. Okay. Can I get your name? Huh? Can I get your name? No, that's all right. No? no. Well, if you're giving me an, uh, a directive, you have to identify yourself as someone okay. capable of giving an order. Someone will talk to you. Well, we already had an officer come out and he yeah, talked to us. Someone can talk to you just can't go out the way. Oh, okay. All right. Well, hey, just yeah, so you yeah, know. You just stay off the perimeter. Well, again, sir, if you're going to give us an order, you need to identify yourself. You can't, I mean, I don't know who you are. You're just some guy in a I truck. It doesn't matter. You have to identify right. yourself, sir. Good enough. Thank you. Soon after, Lieutenant Williams meets with Denver Metro and Donut Hole Audits. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. My name is Lieutenant Williams. Um, if I could ask you guys to step out here, um, you guys can't be on the state property, but you are more than welcome to be on the sidewalk. Can't be on the state property? You can't, no. It says visitor parking right here, so open to the public. It is visitor parking, yeah. it's for visiting. Yeah. Um, we do have it posted that you can't trespass if asked to leave. Um, I just spoke to the warden. He, he asked, it's in the, the gatehouse. Um, he asked that you guys step across onto the sidewalk, and you're more than welcome to. Um, do whatever you do from the sidewalk. So, if you have cameras in, in the public area, then you can get trespassed? Is that what you're saying? Um, that's up to the state, whatever they want to do. My supervisor is just asking that you guys um, step out on the sidewalk. Well, he's asking, but we can refuse. Well, he's, he's asking before it escalates, obviously. Well, what's escalation so, mean? What are you going to do? Well, you guys are trespassing. But you can't trespass on public property unless we commit a crime, sir. That's the way trespassing works. If it's posted. Can you, you show can me? You said it's posted. Off. I'd like to see that. It's actually, you can't. You're more than welcome to go to the gatehouse and see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you, can you take us um, there? Can you turn off the camera while? No. It says, it says, we were talking to the guy over there. He said that people can come in there to visit their uh, family that's incarcerated. Mm -hmm. So that this is, is open to the public. But it, it you, is true. Yeah, Actually so I mean, visiting, if we have, this is a lawful activity, so we're not breaking the law. I so, didn't know. Yeah, so this is public property. You can't trespass us from public property unless we commit a crime, sir. That's the way the law works. So, I mean, we do this all the time. We know what we're doing. I understand. Yeah. I understand. So. Where are you guys from? All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here then. Come on, man, let's go. Unsure of what to do and not dumb enough to announce that they were being trespassed for filming, the officer does nothing. Denver Metro and Donut Hole Audits start walking to the gatehouse to find the posted trespassing signs, as the officer clearly invited them to do so. As they walk there, the officer felt compelled to babysit the men until he received further orders. Well. 
This silly behavior is continued for a number of minutes. It's kind of creepy, man. What's creepy? <laughs> you following us around, dude. It's my job. Your job is to follow law-abiding citizens around? Um, when they're on state property, yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm So, yeah. well, uh, what if we were just walking around here, like if we were uh, visiting someone, would you guys come and follow us around then? Um, if you were doing something out of the norm, yes, we would. I don't suspect you guys are doing anything other than filming and... That's what I'm saying. We're not committing a crime. We're not doing anything wrong. This is, this is a First Amendment protected activity, right? 16-3-311 allows us to record in a public space, which this is. Okay. But you're over here wasting taxpayer dollars that we pay to just follow us around. Actually, I'm not. I'm paid to ensure that the facility is secure. And that's what I'm doing. So you're just going to follow us around the whole time that we're here? Um, like, what could we much. be doing that would make this facility not secure? What could somebody be in? be doing anything. At this point, all of these officers know what is going on, but for some reason, they still haven't gotten the memo that the Supreme Court hasn't ruled our rights completely into oblivion, and that the freedom of press still extends to all citizens. While Denver Metro and Donut Hole chose this location to film, the confrontation is being manufactured by the state officials who swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. Despite the officer repetitively admitting that the men are doing nothing wrong, he continues to follow them until the warden exits to confront them. So this guy's just gonna stay on our tail. We've got someone else coming up now. Hey guys, did you get authorization from our public information officer to film here? You're not gonna answer questions? Nah, we've asked we've answered enough questions from uh, Lieutenant Williams over there. We're good. Let's call DPD. You can film from across the street, but you're not allowed on state property without authorization, alright? Yeah, but people come in here every day to visit people Visitors in that public lobby without authorization. Not true. Visitors are for visitors, for facility business and or the people that we have incarcerated in the facility, not for you to roam around our road and take film. Well, it uh, says security, that security sensitive well, stuff. What's the difference between there and there? Because this is our property and that's not. What can I film from here that I can't? <laughs> Whatever you think you can film from out there, then you can ask. And if you want to come inside or over the fence, you can contact the public information officer. Well, for you the don't do that. You just want to see the public area. You were just on a perimeter road that you're not authorized to be on. Well, Nor did you ask no, or there's request. There's no signs over here saying that that's. Did you see all the correctional signs that says? Yeah, this is over a there, right station? here, it says they're yes. everywhere. <clears throat> and this is a road that's not facility access. It says hey, service well, access right the there, there, all the way around. That's why the gates are over there. And our property is where the fence line is. So if you're not gonna answer any questions or you felt like you've done enough, we'll just call DPD and let them talk to you, okay? Oh. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. Wait, can I get your name, sir? You're good, my friend. I'm the warden. You're the warden? I am. So you're the one that's responsible for mass incarceration for victimless crimes? If if I sentence to courts, absolutely. Hey, I mean. bud, we're good. You don't need to film here. You don't, have, you, don't, you don't have. He's touching me. You don't touch me. What's wrong You don't have any authority to be here. Please you don't have go any authority to touch me. What's wrong I with you? I didn't touch you. Yeah, you did. You, you, no, was, you touched my arm. I did not touch your arm. <laughs> did you get that on did camera? Did I touch his arm? Yeah. I you, reached. I out felt to say, it on my back. arm. You went like All that. Right, and you well, tapped. What would happen back. if I tapped you on your arm, bud? You can tap me on my arm. All right, I can. Yeah. All right, you're good. Thank you, man. Please back up and film across the street as we've requested and Lieutenant Williams and myself have requested. You guys already called the cops on us. We haven't called them yet, but well, we This will. guy just said call DPD. <laughs> We're gonna have them come and have a conversation with you and educate you in reference to what you can film at a correctional facility, all right? Okay. Thanks guys, have a what, good what's day. What's your name though? I know you're the warden, but you didn't get your name. Warden Long. Warden Long? Yep. Warden Long apologizes for the unwanted touch and directs his men to call the Denver Police Department. While they wait for DPD, they notice what appears to be an able-bodied officer parked in a handicapped spot. Damn, must pay you good here, huh? Mobbing the range? That's not your car, though. What'd you say? That's not your car, though. I see the handicap in there, man. You ain't handicap. <laughs> I'd mob it though if it wasn't mine too. <laughs> That's a good one, huh? It's it's probably his mom or something. She probably doesn't want some spinners on there, spree wells or something. But he is parked in the handicap spot though. What if someone needs to uh, park here that's actually handicapped though, bro? Like they're visiting their family. This is visitor parking right here, right? Huh? This is visitor parking right here, right? This area? 
Uh-uh. It's not? It's for both employees and visitors. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. What if someone comes in to visit uh, a family member and they're handicapped and you're parked in a handicapped spot? There's a whole bunch of them over here. Oh, so there's a whole bunch, so you can that means you can just park in one? Yep, yep, yep. You know, people are in here for, for uh, breaking the law. Meanwhile, you're over here, a CEO over here, and you're breaking the law. You see what I'm saying, though? So you think I have this in here just for the fun of it, huh? So you're a corrections officer, but you're, uh, and you're handicapped? I didn't know they, they hired uh, handicapped corrections officers, man. I mean, aren't you supposed to be able to, like, like hold down inmates and do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? <laughs> you look like a young, fit, uh, young man. You don't look handicapped at all, man. Yeah. But they got plenty of spots though, right? So that guy in the wheelchair, you, can, you parked in the closest one, right? So the guy in the wheelchair can park farther away. While not all handicaps are physical in nature, it is unclear whether the officer was issued the placard. However, Colorado Revised Statute 42-4-1208 defines the holder of a placard as, quote, a person with a disability who has lawfully obtained an identifying plate or placard. If the placard wasn't lawfully given to you, you cannot use it for your own purposes. Roughly 30 minutes later, Officer Nelson and Hayes of the Denver Police finally make it on scene. What's up, gentlemen? Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you guys doing? Good, doing all right. Hey, how are you? So, you told them that they're on state property, right? Yes. Okay. Fellas, you're fine to film. Ask whatever questions you want. But this is the lieutenant's spot. This is state property. He just wants you to go to the sidewalk and do all your stuff from out there, okay? Yeah, the state property is public property, and this is open to the public. This is not a restricted area, sir. He's in charge of this property. This is his property. He's in charge of it. It's this just is his it's property? Just, it's just like the post office. Post office is state property, right? But you can be told that you are not allowed in there. Nope. Yes, you can. Absolutely not. All right, gentlemen, so. We do this for yeah, a living, uh, sir. I understand. We go to post yeah, offices yeah, all the time. I understand. That's not asking. But just because it's a public place doesn't mean that you can't be told that you can't be in here. For what reason? All right. He asked you? Doing nothing. No. Wait, doing you can't. Illegal? He asked you. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't matter. He asked you. Yeah. Guys, go to the sidewalk. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So now what you're doing is you're trespassing. Okay. I don't want to make this any worse. All right. You guys can do your thing. We don't want to bother you. We just ask you to go to the sidewalk. Okay. A couple okay. things. Juan, can I get your uh, name and badge number, please? Yeah, my name. Yep. It's Officer Nelson, badge 19071. I'll give you a business card too when we're done yeah. talking, okay? And mine's Officer Hayes. I'm 17060. Thanks, sir. All right. Okay. I think uh, what we're doing is pretty reasonable. Oh, it's All completely right. unreasonable okay. because in order to trespass from public property, sir, we have to commit a crime. That's the way the okay. law works. Okay. So you're telling us that they can just ask us to leave and yep. we have to leave. No, that's completely not okay. true, sir. That's fine. And a post office, this public property is public property and mm -hmm. this is open to the public. Now this is a restricted area. Like I obviously can't go behind that fence right. and record or go right. back there period because that's a restricted area. This is open to the public. It says mm -hmm. visitor parking right there. Yep. So we are absolutely uh, allowed to be oh, in well, here. You can sir. also be told that you can't be here by an employee of the state. Or any or either. Lieutenant here. We have to break the law first. You don't have to break the law. Can you show me a, a statute that I says don't have that? the statute in my hand. Well, come on, Mass, can you look it up or call a sergeant over here maybe? We're not going to bother the sergeant with this. Can we get it? Okay. We're requesting a we supervisor. We got a lieutenant right here. We're requesting a supervisor, sir. Okay, I'm not going to bother this. You have to. With this. When, when, your policy, sir. You when can, we request you a supervisor, you can call You have to. Him. You can call him, that's fine. No, 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 I'm you, telling you to call them, sir. You you're the public servant. You're not being reasonable at all. You're we're trying to you're trying to violate our rights, sir. We have I'm a right to be here. Right. You're totally you violating our rights. You're telling us that you're trying to trespass property. us from public property. That's unacceptable. You're on state property. Oh, yeah. state, state property is public property, property, man. Who pays all right, for this? How about this? Okay. Who pays you for go this? to City Hall, right? Yeah. State property. You're filming in City Hall. Yeah. Someone has an issue with it. An employee, right? They can tell you you can't be in here anymore. No. As soon as you're told. As soon as you're told. All right, fine. No, this guy says he watches this kind of stuff all the time. I'm surprised you guys don't understand this, man. You you totally need to get an education, uh, Officer Nelson. Okay. That's completely sure. incorrect. That's completely right. incorrect. So can well, you get a sergeant out here, please? That's your policy. We're requesting a sergeant. I'll talk to the sergeant a little bit and see if he wants to come out here. All right. I'm not from this district, so I don't know any sergeant who's working. We're helping this district out now because they have an officer's funeral. So we'd really rather not be dealing with this. We'd yeah, we, we think you should just get back to work, man, because we're not committing a crime so we're just here doing a story we already told um lieutenant williams why we're here we're doing a story on mass incarceration so we're not breaking the law and you're trying to tell us that uh you can trespass us from public property that's totally incorrect sir okay well 
we'll have the little proceeding in court if that's what you'd like. We okay. kind of have a word with you. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, if that's what you want, sir, we definitely would have that dismissed and attach ourselves to your pension as long as possible. After a quasi threat to arrest the men, the officer talks with Lieutenant Williams only to stand down. You know, qualified immunity doesn't exist in Colorado anymore, so. I'm aware. Huh? I'm aware. Yeah. Okay. I'm aware. So I'm just saying, you said we'll have our day in court. We will attach ourselves to whoever put the handcuffs on us. We'll attach ourselves to your, or your pension as long as possible. We'll file a, a, a lawsuit with the city and county of Denver as well. And uh, this will video will go viral. So that's up to you guys if you guys want to do anything about that, it's gonna be look really bad on your department and yourself. You guys staying warm? Oh, it's, we dress warm. It's been super cold the last few days. Super, super cold. Yeah, I know, we, we live here too. I'd say those car hearts probably do a good job keeping them warm. We got, look, we got good cop, bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. When was that bad cop? Huh? That wasn't a bad cop. No, no, dude, you're when telling was, us that you're telling Ricky. that you're trying to trespass us from public property. That's bad cop. This guy's over here trying to tell us, compliment me on my car hearts, being the good cop. I'm not allowed to be civilized. Well, sir, you came out here. You're with your partner over here who's trying to violate our rights. Um, you swore an oath to the Constitution, right, when you took your job as a Denver police officer. Okay. I did. So this is a First Amendment protected activity, sir and you're trying to tell us that we can't record on public property. We're not inside the, the facility or in the prison in a restricted area. We're in the public area, sir. We're allowed to record here. We know what we're doing. We do this all the time. Officer Nelson eventually calls a supervisor before making a mistake that could cost him his pension. So, um, as I was just explaining to your friend, uh, you guys are good to film in the parking lot, all that stuff, right? We're not gonna do anything. You guys totally have the right to do that. Um, just the warden's request is just please be respectful to the staff. And, don't bother them if they're trying to leave and if they don't want to answer questions and try to get in their cars, please don't you know, interfere with that at all. Because oh, right? they're trying to go about their lives and do their stuff. Cool. Well, we don't need the directives. We were never harassing anyone anyway, so. But we do appreciate at least you telling Hi, us man. that we have the right. So you guys were wrong. Thank you, gentlemen. This guy Nelson right here is a straight clown trying to tell us that we have to leave if, if uh, they ask us to leave. Obviously, that's not true, sir. Threatened us that he's gonna trespass us. This guy, oh, well, we can't record in post office if they ask us to leave either, right? 16 3 311, or allowed to record in public, sir. Do your job better, man. Dumbass. To be clear, the Colorado Department of Corrections Administrative Regulation 1350-01 states that the policy of the Colorado Department of Corrections to provide a public information program that encourages DOC interaction and contact with representatives of the media and the public within the security limitations of facilities and parole offices. Section D1 states that the DOC encourages cooperation with professional news reporters and camera crews as a means of fulfilling the obligation of a public agency agency to keep the public informed with accurate information. While they have restrictions for filming the insides of level 3, 4, and 5 facilities, they maintain B-roll to provide to the media upon request, which unfortunately allows the footage to be staged, rather than provide a candid view of the flow of the institution. The regulation goes on to also restrict video and restrictive housing units, medical units, treatment areas, and any other areas at times when the presence of such media might cause facility or office disruption. Filming the the exterior of a building from a public parking lot does not obstruct or disrupt any of the facility's operations, unless they pretend it does, which of course would be weird considering that they offer tours. I cut this video down quite a bit from its original size. Links to both Denver Metro and Donut Hole Audits will be below if you'd like to view the parts of the interactions I didn't include. There's a reason cops are afraid of cameras and will try anything to prevent lawful filming in public areas. That reason heavily coincides with why the first First Amendment is first. Always record your interactions with state officials and let these guys know that I sent you if you pay them a visit. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for Criminal Psychology 
edgy content, and the odd side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.